Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 22 December, uh, basically the last couple trading days of the year for us. We're going to watch today, but price action overnight sort of tells us that we're probably not going to get wildly involved. A couple of ideas, uh, maybe in dollar CAD, but let's just look and see what happened here. We were on that precarious line of bull bear yesterday, late in the day. Uh, dollar yen was up near 132.50, but we could not break it. Dollar CAD was at 136.40, could not break it. Cable crushed through support here, uh, 120.92. We got short. Uh, we got short between 90 and 05, and then tightened our stop too tight, and we got pinged at 96. It's very frustrating. This little ping here. So we're short here. Oh no, this ping here, yeah. So it goes down to 84, just back up to 97 to get us. Bang down to 55 but it turned out to be not really a winner uh, anyway back here 121 26 um, but cable looked like it was starting this move this bull move in the dollar so then we were waiting for euro uh, 105.75 never happened so we've been fucking around this euro figure 50 now one two three four five five times this has to go at some point one way or the other um i don't know it looks like uh, i mean it, it sure as sure looked we've been waiting all week those of you who have been listening we've been waiting all week for 105.75 we were sure that was going to trade uh, all of a sudden jeepers if we get through 60 here uh top side this thing may go the other way all of that said, uh, there's nothing on the calendar today. I can't see any particularly outstanding moves today. Um, so I don't know. We're going to keep it super light. Uh, we did get paid in Euro Aussie yesterday. We talked about buying Aussie yesterday. Euro Aussie collapsed. <clears throat> As you can see, it's continued to collapse. We just took the 100 pips. Um, you know, 75 pips lower where we took profit, but it doesn't matter. We we did what we needed to do. Aussie did go bid. Stocks did remain bid. Uh, here we are. As far as trades today, I don't know. A couple of things. There's a couple of setups, I guess. Uh, CAD yen. I don't really like that, but the chart's decent, right? Can you can you buy CAD yen? through 9740 technically 9733 technically you could but like how's that gonna happen I don't know it's dollar yen gonna go shooting higher I certainly doubt that is dollar cad gonna collapse maybe dollar cad might collapse but the market is very short dollar cad so that also doesn't bode super well for that a surprising move you can't surprise a market that's fucking stacked uh, surprises happen when the market isn't stacked uh, and then there's, what is it, Aussie CAD. This chart is like mildly interesting in like sort of the dumbest way. Uh, same thing, pivot here, 91.90. This could be Aussie carrying the day, right? Um, people are bearish stocks. People are short Aussie. Uh, Aussie could keep going higher here in a uh, you know, sort of surprise, fuck you, who's your daddy kind of a move. Um, again, we're not juiced about any of this shit. I'm just pointing it out in case you're desperate to trade. If you are desperate to trade, you probably shouldn't be a trader. Um, desperation is never uh, an emotion that we're looking for here in this business. There's always another trade. Don't get hung up one way or the other. Um, so chill the fuck out. And... I don't know, maybe go to lunch today, which is what we're doing. We just got the invite. Uh, 
we'll be in the Paki with the boys, uh, twelve fifteen table. So we're looking forward to that. If you were to say to me what makes sense here, I guess you know, even though the retail uh, flock is short dollar cad, dollar cad lower makes sense. It is risk on crude is seventy eight fifty. I mean, ten days ago it was at seventy. This is when we had our little Euro CAD fiasco. Uh, instead of just buying oil, we were short Euro CAD, and that was a fucking buzz kill. Anyway, it's seventy-eight bucks now. Um, so dollar CAD could go lower, and I guess Euro higher would surprise a lot of people, right? Uh, you have Italian yields 443. That's not bullish. Um, German yields eh, sort of at their highs. Uh, but I still think there's there's a million reasons uh, Euro should go lower. But who knows? This is this this could be your little surprise attack. Um, Euro higher, and you know. Professionally speaking, let's see how this looks. Um, let's see. When you when we when you do technical analysis, you're basically saying, well, what what is everyone else drawing? It's not it's not really like what's the secret what's the secret uh, picture that that I can draw that no one else is drawing. You want to basically draw what everyone else is drawing because this is it's just a it's just a psychological method of saying, okay, if the whole crowd is going to do this, I should do it too because the momentum of the crowd will, will push shit through. So oh, do we have this little wedge here, short-term wedge, maybe? Uh, you could do something steeper with that with that 107.36 high. I don't know. Or you could just do a horizontal here. Above 106.67, there's some clear air. Um, tricky don't know we are not trading euro today um in fact we're probably not trading anything today uh and i don't see any reason we have cad gdp tomorrow and we do have core pci tomorrow so we'll probably have a lazy morning and then uh get some fitness in and maybe see what those numbers bring post lunch tomorrow but this is sort of privateer saying um closing the books effectively um, for the year and take next week to get our head right for 2023 and get ready to ring the bell. With that, uh, I bid you adieu and I will see you when I see you. Good luck out there, people. Uh, even if you are trading today, you probably make some dough uh, and why not, right? You deserve it.